Derek, are you celebrating Christmas this year? Nope. Are you celebrating Kwanzaa? Nope. Well, what are you celebrating? Surviving 2020. Hmm, that sounds about right. You guys, it's been a crazy week in America. Let's find out what happened. Okay, National Christmas Tree Day was this week because there's no more fitting tradition for 2020 than unnecessarily killing something. <laughs> A controversial Christmas card from 1843 was put up for sale last week, which features a woman holding a glass of red wine up to a child's mouth. It's bad, but not as bad as Megyn Kelly's Christmas card. <laughs> Remember when she said that? Yep. And she He's her... white, I don't care. <laughs> He's white, and I don't care who knows it. Hey, Megyn. Huh? He black. No! <laughs> said, huh? Ho, 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 ho. What a weird hill to die on, but yeah. okay. <gasps> the Supreme Court this week denied a request from Republicans to overturn the results of the presidential election in Pennsylvania, issuing a one-sentence denial. That sentence was, <laughs> boy, if you don't get your stupid ass out of here. Let's see if it worked. <laughs> The video live streaming service, Twitch, has announced that it will ban images of the Confederate flag, blackface, and swastikas, while Facebook will start offering them as filters. Mm. Had to get off Facebook. I mean, Woo. Yeah, that is actually going to happen. You know it will. Uh, Zuckerberg's like, that's a good idea. Someone at home is like, that's a great way to make a bajillion D dollars. No. <laughs> 74 percent of people reached by New Jersey's contact tracers have been uncooperative. I'm not surprised. People in New Jersey don't cooperate with anything. They don't even cooperate with slaves. I don't believe in them. <laughs> what are you talking about, arm chokers? Hey, man. Way. Oh, look at these guns. Get out of here. They deserve air. <laughs> we found something Tarek and I are bad at. <laughs> <laughs> New Jersey accents. And I'm great. from New Jersey. You are from New Jersey. It should be <laughs> And infinite. this is what I, we talk like out there. Oh, no, no. I, I do not think that that is true. Yeah. Actress Felicity Huffman turned 58 years old this week, but she got it reduced to 54 years for good behavior. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for nothing. And finally, according to early research, the coronavirus may be linked to men developing erectile dysfunction, which can only mean one thing. We'll have a cure for it by tomorrow. And that's it for the monologue. But that's not it for the news. Because, man, do I have some fun news. Okay, after tonight, we have one more episode of The Amber Ruffin Show this year. And then, guess what? We're coming back after the new year with more episodes. Ah, Yay! Ah. I'm so excited. Hey, Tarek, are you busy next year? I am now. That's what I thought. No. <laughs> now, the <laughs> other big news of this week is that after months of experiments and clinical trials, New York City will receive its first doses of the coronavirus vaccine this Tuesday. The city will only receive a few doses, though, so they'll be reserved for... I got it. What? I got the vaccine. Sarah, that's impossible. They're only giving the first doses to essential workers. Yeah, essential workers, like healthcare professionals and nursing home residents and talk show sidekicks. You're not an essential worker, Tarek. Of course I am. My work is essential to this show. If I wasn't here to amiably chuckle at your jokes, who knows what would happen? Like, watch, tell a joke. The U.S. Coast Guard issued a warning in Hawaii after over 1,000 shipping containers fell off of a ship. The warning was, hey, look out for all those shipping containers falling off that ship. <laughs> okay. Okay, now tell it again. The U.S. Coast Guard issued a warning in Hawaii after over 1,000 shipping containers fell off a ship. The warning was, hey, look out for all those shipping containers falling off that ship. Whoa, okay, you're essential. Thank you.
<laughs> now that that's settled, <laughs> we here at the Amber Ruffin Show, because of the pandemic, we're stuck in the studio all the time. But this week, we actually have a few extra minutes. So I thought it might be nice to get outside for once. So we're just going to go for it. It's a segment called Let's Go See New York. Okay, we are going to go outside. Man, this is going to be great. We're going to go see the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. And maybe we'll find another baby owl. And if we do, I'm going to name him Cletus. Owls have a similar wise energy to old black men. So we're going to go outside. I'm so excited. Okay, so now I haven't been to Times Square in like five hundred years. And it makes me feel seen to see that Elmo that's always in Times Square. He looks like he's been through a lot. And I'm always like, girl, same, because very relatable. Okay, we are going to go outside. Maybe we'll even get on the subway. Oh my God, I haven't been on the subway in like 50 years. I actually really miss the adrenaline of yelling, hey, hold that door, and then no one holds anything. Okay, we are going outside. Now, if I'm feeling really brave, I might even get a New York hot dog. Really have like the full tourist experience and ruin my trip by getting food poisoning. <laughs> We're gonna go outside! Oh my gosh, I wonder if Soho or Dumbo House is open. Maybe I'll stop by. I miss being told I'm not cool enough to join and being yelled at for using my phone. Okay, I'm all ready. Now let's go see New York. First stop. Wait, what happened? We ran out of time to do the segment. Oh, well, we must have a few seconds left, right? We do, but you're going to need them to take all that shit off. <laughs> 